Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Today in this video, we're gonna be um, experimenting with cutting some fret slots on a guitar fretboard. Um, I've got two different end mills here from Shars. Um, I think one is a four flute and the other one is a, uh, is a two flute. Um, I've never actually cut fret slots on the CNC, um, but uh, follow along, let's see what happens. We're gonna put these through the paces. We're gonna see um, what we can push them to before, uh, well, hopefully they don't snap, but we'll see what happens. Uh, anyways, let's go into Fusion 360. Let's model up a quick test piece that we can cut with, and uh, and let's get started. All right, um, this should be pretty straightforward. Uh, the goal here isn't to make an entire 21, 22, 23, 24 fret fretboard, um, but rather just a small piece uh, with slots that are about the width that a fret's going to be. Um, and we'll just do um, like a line of, of 10 of them or so. Um, and on each one, when we do the cam settings, we'll adjust the, uh, the feed rate, uh, in depth of cut and whatnot, and kind of see at what point these bits, uh, start, start suffering. Uh, so first, just like any other sketch, let's just start it down here. Um, I think a guitar fretboard at the, you know, towards the heel is somewhere around like two and a quarter inches. So let's just go with that for the fret, um, uh, length. And then the, uh, now we got the dimensions all weird here. Um, and then we'll do, uh, I don't know, six inches, play. Um, all right, and then let's just extrude, extrude this up. Um, let's just bring it up an inch, it doesn't really matter. Uh, all right, so to draw our actual fret slots, uh, I've started a new sketch here on this top plane. Um, let's just project in this geometry so we have it. So we're looking at the top. Um, and I think all we need to do here is draw some lines across, make sure they're, uh, they're, they're perpendicular. Um, and then we can come here, click on the line and we can hit mirror or not mirror. Sorry. We can hit rectangular pattern. We'll take this line, same money we want, let's say 10. Uh, let's try that again. Let's say they're half inch apart and we want 10 of them. Um, okay, perfect. So we've got our 10 lines now. I think that's 10. And then to actually extrude this, if you come into the extrude tool, um, there's a setting here for thin extrude. So you can actually extrude lines, uh, instead of, uh, instead of surfaces. So if we just come click on each one of these. We've got all of these selected. Um, we're going to be extruding down uh, 0 0.069 of an inch. Uh, if you're using metric in here, I don't know what that converts to. Um, but I'm sure you can find it. Um, like that negative. So we're going down. Uh, typically if I was doing fret slots and it, and it needed to be accurate, I would make sure that this is, uh, the wall locations on the center. Um, in this case, it doesn't really matter, but we'll set it just for fun. Um, and then the wall thickness is the other important part. So a fret slot, uh, is usually about 0 0.023 of an inch. Um, that's also the diameter that these, uh, these little end mills are at the very tip. Um, so let's go with that. That is a fret slot. Um, and obviously these are open-ended frets. This process is probably a little bit different for the actual cutting. If we had, um, kind of hidden tang frets where we come in, you know, like a, like a 16th of an inch or so. Cause in the bit we need to do a plunge cut as well. Um, I think that fusion 360 slot cutting, uh, supports, uh, kind of entering at like a long angle. So the, the bits never like plunging directly without boring. Um, so anyways, that looks good to me. Um, let's go ahead and hop into the manufacturer tab here. Uh, let's make a new setup. So our stock is fine. This will, this will be a stock. Actually, we'll need to make sure we don't add any top offset. Um, and while we're at it, let's get rid of the side offset as well. Um, and let's adjust our origin point here. Actually, I guess first make sure our body's selected. Select our X axis will be that. Our Y will be that. It seems like that's already what was selected, but I'd like to be safe here. And it's that. So when we're standing in front of our machine, it's going to, it's, we're going to be looking at this. Um, so that all looks good. Let's double check. We don't have any offsets size of this, this block. The height doesn't really matter. Cause we'll be, um, we'll be zeroing off the top corner. So and this isn't a huge deal. Um, but the width is six and two and a quarter depth. Um, this all looks good. We'll hit okay. 
no model selected. Here, we'll click that again, actually. Unclicked it. All right, so we've got our setup here. Um, and then I think that all we need to do is the slot uh, slot job here. Um, so we come to the tool. I, I've preset a lot of these bits up. Um, like I said in the introduction, I have some four flutes and some two flutes. I'm most interested to see how the four flutes perform. Um, I would think that this would be a little bit better because we can feed a little bit faster. We'll have a lower feed per tooth than the two flutes um, at the same at the same uh, speed. So let's start with the four flute. Um, I've got some presets here. I don't think there's any way we're going to send this through at 60 inches a minute. I'm going to back this down on the first slot, I think, to, um, I don't know, five. I, I honestly have no idea where to even start here. Maybe that's too low. Um, what I'm looking at here is this feed per tooth. And so typically with with hardwoods that I've cut on the Shiboko, um, you can do this at, uh, God, I don't even know what decimal place that is, 10, 100 thousandths. You can usually do like one thousandth of an inch per tooth, sometimes up to two. Um, but uh, we're not going to be shooting for that today. This is obviously going to be very small compared to it. So let's aim for um, like 50 thousandths, maybe. Yeah, it's 36. Let's do 35 inches a minute. And actually, because we're going to be doing so many of these, let's do 25 inches a minute for the first one. Um, we've got our tool selected. I think we're going to run all these at 18,000 RPM just to keep it consistent. So the only number we need to play with is the cutting feed rate. Uh, geometry. Let's just do, you know, for the slot operation, I've never actually done this one before, but I think we just do that. And it should follow that path. It looks like it's going to want to lead in from the outside, which we want as well. So we're definitely going to do multiple depths. Um, again, these are um, 0 0.069 depth. I have no idea what we should even shoot for here, um, but I think we're just going to learn by example. Let's try it in um, maybe four passes. Per, per fret that might that might almost be too much um uh maybe we should increase that but let's you know let's uh let's try it in six passes so that gives us uh 11 hundredths of an inch per step down um i'm not gonna worry too much about all these it doesn't really matter for this we're not gonna do any stock to leave um and then the only thing I'm interested in is to see where it's going to start, if it's going to start on the outside here. And I think I'm just going to hit OK and see what it simulates. It's already even an error. Internal cam, kernel error, please report through your support channel. Great. Um, OK, so maybe I'm doing the slot operation wrong. I don't really know how to use it. Let's show the 2D contour instead. Um, and let's just follow along this path here. Um, that should work. Let's set the tool again. Come in here. Four flute. Slow it down to, I think I said 25. And let's turn on multiple depths. Um, and then let's not worry about the finishing step downs or anything. So let's try this and see if it works. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I, I might be using the slot operation wrong. You can see the entry point here, though, is going to take a little bit out of our actual block. I'm sure this is something you can just tweak in here. I, I think there's probably an extension. Uh, yeah, tangential extension distance. Let's like up it to an eighth, maybe. Is that going to do it? Yeah, perfect. So we've got a perfectly straight line through here, and it exits clear the material as well. Um, OK, so that's going to do the first fret at 25 inches a minute with five or what was that six step downs. Um, so hopefully it doesn't get much slower than that because let's look at this simulate for this job. See for this one fret, it's gonna be a whole minute, um, which you know is honestly fine. That's not too bad. You know, 20 to 25 minutes of fretboard for the frets, not terrible. Um, but let's try to push it a little bit. So let's duplicate this. Let's come in here. Let's select the other geometry, which is gonna be this guy. Let's unselect this one. And then for our speed, let's up it to uh, let's up to 30 and let's still do six step downs. So that's that one. 
And then I'm just going to repeat this process for the other ones. I'm just going to slowly increase the uh, feed rate of the tool. And then on these last ones, I'll drop the feed, feed rate back down, but um, take more stock per pass. So I'll speed it up here so you don't have to sit through all this. Okay, so we've got up to 40 inches a minute here on the fourth one. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it much faster than that. Um, so what I'll do now is, uh, is duplicate this one. And then update the contour to be this guy. We'll keep it at 40 inches a minute, but let's take a little bit more material. Let's do, um, let's do five step downs. See if we can do that. Um, and then let's start, uh, let's slow the tool down on the next one. Let's duplicate this again. New geometry. And, um, let's try to do it in four step downs. Okay. So hopefully let's just, let's just try to do six fret slots for now. We won't worry about the rest of these. Hopefully by the time we get here, we have not broken the tool yet. If we still haven't broken the tool, um, then I guess we can, we can try some more and try, try taking more material per pass, um, and whatnot really quick before we go out to the CNC, I'm going to actually make these last few frets, uh, closed ended, um, and see if we're able to plunge the bit down into some of these. Um, so bear with me here. I'm going to play with some of this, uh, geometry and see if, see if we can do that. Okay, so what I've done, um, I projected in the original fret slots and I pulled them in a 16th of an inch from the edge here on both sides. Uh, there's much better ways to do this for a real fretboard, you know, using the actual parameters and whatnot and better geometry to do it, but this will work just for four frets. Um, so anyways, let's do what we did the first time. Um, we're just going to do a thin extrude on these. Okay, so now we have our kind of closed ended frets here. And let's play around in the cam. Uh, we'll let these regenerate so they're not throwing warnings. Um, so I don't think the contour is going to work here, at least our existing contour setup, unless we can adjust the lead in to not kind of do this curl at the tip. Um, I'm using contour because it's the one I'm most familiar with, but um, might need to learn something new today. Uh, okay. Right. So because that's a connecting path, it's going to try to do everything that might be fine. Can we adjust the lead in? What if we just turn that off? Yeah, it's probably going to air. So there's nowhere to actually cut. Okay. So I, I don't think contour is going to work here. Um, let's try trace. Maybe. Oops. I think trace is more for curves. Let's see if it's able to actually draw anything. Yeah, that didn't do it. I think it's trying to do the outside of the chain there. Um, let's go back to the slot. Maybe we'll have better luck now that we actually have like a chain selection here. Let's just, uh, we don't need to worry about multiple depths for now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the slot tool works better when you have connected lines instead of hanging over the edge. Um, or maybe I was just doing it wrong before. So that looks good. Let's add some multiple depths. Um, let's pull this back up here. 0.069. Uh, let's go back to trying to hit five. 
and then let's slow the tool back down. I think that hopefully with multiple depths, we can see how it's going to kind of do the zigzag thing where the entry point into the material will be very shallow, but by the time it hits the end, it'll have taken a full, full path or the full depth pass hitting that full, um, 0.0138 depth. So I think that's fine. Um, it just means that like the sound that tool is going to make is going to kind of ramp up as it goes through the material. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, what's the speeds here? We're doing 35 inches a minute. Let's slow the rest of these down, back down to that 25 that we started with. It happens. My main concern here, um, and this is something I've kind of ran into when I was shopping for these bits, is that the depth of cut on all these is the exact depth that a fret slot needs to be, this 0.069 inches. Um, so I'm hoping we don't get too much rubbing. Obviously the bit does not actually look like this. It starts to kind of taper up um, uh, along the kind of shoulders here. Um, so hopefully we don't get too much rubbing. We might get a little bit of burning right along the top of the wood if if the Z axis on the machine isn't calibrated quite right. So we might be trying to cut too deep. Uh, hopefully we don't cut too shallow though, because then the fret's not going to go in. Uh, and especially on some of these, I think we might blow out the side if if we end up hammering the fret too hard. Um, and you'll also notice I didn't worry about doing a radius along the top here. This whole process is about the same, even with the radius. I think um, our cuts would essentially just follow the follow the contour of the of the fretboard if we were doing that. Um, so anyways, I guess there's nothing else to do now except go prepare some material and uh, get it set up on the CNC. Let's go out there. Just before we move on, um, I just wanted to show the numbers on the screen here. The first four frets are all the six passes. Um, the fifth fret is five passes and the sixth fret is four passes. And the very last one here is the fret slot with um, the hidden tang. Um, that is back to five passes and we slow down the feed rate just a little bit. It started to dawn on me here how microscopically small the end of this bit was. And I'll be honest, I was a little bit concerned that even the first pass was gonna be slow enough. I'll put the link for this four flute and mill down in the description below if anyone's interested. I had some walnut laying around, so that's what we decided to cut here for our fake fretboard. Uh, walnut's Jenko hardness is around 1,000, is my understanding, while um, rosewood and hard maple is anywhere between 1,500 to just over 2,000. So this was still on the softer side of materials that we could cut, um, but you'll see here that even getting to our fastest rate of 40 inches a minute with our uh, four step down pass uh, we really didn't struggle at all so i think on those harder woods we could slow it down a little bit if we had to um, but overall i was seriously impressed um, the bit didn't seem to struggle it wasn't chattering at all uh, for any of these passes this final one did take a while with the slope that it was coming in at um, i think that we could adjust this and set the top height a little bit more negative so it didn't take so long Overall, I was seriously impressed with how well the machine cut all these grooves. Um, it was clear that even at 40 inches a minute at four passes for the entire depth, uh, it didn't seem to struggle at all, and we never ended up breaking a bit. Uh, keep in mind, I didn't raise the top, and this fret wire is already radiused a bit, so the end kind of stuck up here. Um, but I think with an actual radius fretboard, it would work out pretty well. I know this was a bit of a long video, but if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for future videos. Uh, and hopefully we'll put this technique to work in the future. Thanks a lot.